Now, if you're vegan, or if you've even ever thought for a second about being vegan, someone somewhere has asked you, so where do you get your protein? So I'm going to show you where I get mine. Now, during this nugget, I'll be showing footage of me eating one of my most protein-rich meals. Now, there are my dates and my mountain of lettuce. So you can watch me chow down throughout this video. Now I'm not going to go into all the nuances and details of the vegan protein debate. Just going to talk a little bit about it, show you where I get my protein from, and about how much I average daily. There are so many vegan sources of protein, and vegan diets can vary as much in content as non-vegan diets. First off, and this is something I'll go into more detail later, we don't really require as much protein as most of us think we do. And in reality, it's virtually impossible to not get enough protein. Unless, of course, you aren't consuming consuming enough calories at all, or you're exclusively eating highly processed refined foods. But in general, protein really isn't something to fret about. Okay, quick time out here, take a look at my super ghetto giant phone. Just to satisfy the question, some vegan sources of protein include vegetables, specifically leafy greens, just to see the rapid munching me as a reference, broccoli, zucchini, and other vegetables, all variety of beans, tofu, tempeh, nuts and nut butters, non-dairy milks, quinoa, lentils, sprouted bread products, and believe it or not, fruits have protein. Any whole food is actually made up of carbohydrates, protein, and fat, and contains a percentage of each of those categories. Dr. Douglas Graham writes, despite the advertising hype of the meat and dairy industries, humans require an extraordinarily low amount of protein in their diets. In a very basic way, protein is for growth and repair. Now, if you think about a time in our lives when we need to grow the very most, it's when we're infants. This is the time in our lives when we will experience our most rapid growth and thus have our highest need for protein per calorie ever. So it follows that human breast milk would need to have the most amount of protein per calories of anything that we would ever need to eat. And human breast milk is... 6% protein, which is less than cherries, oranges, peaches, strawberries, watermelon, tomato, cucumbers, potatoes, lettuce, spinach, broccoli, carrots, cabbage, and countless other fruits and vegetables. And now for some stats. The typical U.S. recommended daily allowance is currently 46 grams per day for women and 56 grams of protein per day for men. This is roughly 0.36 grams per pound of body weight or 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. The World Health Organization recommends 0.66 grams per kilograms per day of protein and states that this can be accepted as the best estimate of a population average requirement for healthy adults. In all reality, the percentage of protein from our entire daily intake is more important than the grams of protein. According to the longest nutritional study ever conducted, the China study, which was based on over 40 years of research, we require only 5-6% to of calories to come from protein. The 9-10% to that has been recommended for the past 50 years has been in order to assure that most people get their 5-6%. to This study also showed that animal-derived protein is incredibly cancer-causing and detrimental to health in a number of ways. It also showed that plant protein, even in amounts in excess of 10%, showed no ill health effects. Think that you need more protein to build some muscle? Think again of the infants growing extraordinarily on 6% protein. But if you still want more protein, go for it. Just keep it plant-based to avoid some serious health issues. So let's see how my diet measures up. Well, I consumed all of my dates, 2.2% protein, adding 2.4 grams for me, and almost all of my lettuce, 5 pounds of it at least, at 17.4% protein, which added a whopping 28 grams of protein for me. My total protein intake for that day with my other fruit meals added in was 49.8 grams which even trumps the US RDA requirements. My overall calonutrient ratio for the day was 88.5% carbs, 6.9% protein, and 4.6% fat. So that's where I get my protein from. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Please visit bitesizevegan.com and sign up for the newsletter for free updates, exclusives, and to never miss a nugget. And be sure to subscribe to the channel.